Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys sign record-setting running back with jacked physique. The Dallas Cowboys are finally bringing in a veteran running back. After going through the initial free agency period without signing a veteran back, the Cowboys are inking Royce Freeman to a one-year deal, according to ESPN's Todd Archer. The Cowboys have signed running back Royce Freeman to a one-year deal, according to Source, writes Archer. Freeman had 319 yards on 77 carries, with two touchdowns last year, for the Los Angeles Rams. He was third-round pick of Denver in 18. The 28-year-old Freeman has spent the past six years as a journeyman running back after being initially drafted by the Denver Broncos back in 2018. Freeman actually began his rookie season as the starter before he was eventually supplanted by Philip Lindsay. The six-foot, 238-pound Freeman ended his rookie campaign with 521 yards, 4.0 yards per carry, and five touchdowns on 130 carries in eight starts and 14 carries. However, he has yet to replicate those numbers since. Freeman spent two more years as a reserve back in Denver before he was waived by the Broncos prior to the start of the 2021 season. Freeman split the 2021 season with the Carolina Panthers and Houston Texans before spending the 2023 season with the Los Angeles Rams. While he's far removed from his days at the University of Oregon, Freeman was actually one of the more accomplished running backs in college football. During his sophomore season in 2015, Freeman was named a third-team All-American after rushing for 1,836 yards and 17 touchdowns. He also garnered all Pac-12 honors in three of his four seasons with the Oregon Ducks. To top it all off, he ended his collegiate career with 60 rushing touchdowns, a Pac-12 conference record. As Matt Miller of Bleacher Report described in his scouting report of Freeman back in 2017, Freeman has a jacked physique punctuated by his physical running style. Freeman has a jacked physique and looks the part walking off the bus with a 230-plus pound frame that's thick throughout, he's a physical back with a diverse skill set that fits into many different offensive systems. Don't be surprised if Freeman has a better rookie season than players we've ranked ahead of him. With Freeman now in the equation, the Cowboys now have five backs on the roster, including Rico Dowdle, Malik Davis, Deuce Vaughn, Hunter Lupke, and Snoop Connor. However, Dallas is still expected to select a running back in the 2024 NFL Draft, according to Dallas Morning News' Michael Gelkin. Cowboys signed former Rams and Broncos RB Royce Freeman today to a one-year contract, a person familiar with the move said, writes Gelkin. This does not alter the expectation Dallas will select a running back in next week's draft. Considering the Cowboys previously leaned on a two-back system with Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott, they could do the same in 2024. Dallas could go with a game plan of leaning on a veteran back, such as Freeman, to be paired with a rookie running back they select in the draft. Through six NFL seasons, Freeman holds career statistics of 1,790 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns on 467 carries in 76 appearances and nine starts. Dallas Cowboys sign RB for one year, appear to make strange decision on Ezekiel Elliott for 2024. The Dallas Cowboys appeared to make an odd choice with running back Ezekiel Elliott this offseason when they signed another veteran for the backfield. Reports surfaced earlier this offseason that Elliott and the Cowboys reportedly had mutual interest for the 2024 season. As discussed in GH, the Cowboys signed Royce Freeman, however, at tailback, with just Rico Dowdle and Deuce Vaughn as recognizable names at the position, the Dallas Cowboys are finally turning to a free agent for external help. A free agent that will be very familiar to state rivals, the Houston Texans, per Todd Archer. Whilst Royce Freeman is hardly the hallmark names many Cowboy fans would have wanted, he does bring pedigree as a backup or rotational back. Freeman is an interesting choice for the Cowboys and an off-season owner Jerry Jones said the team would be all-in. The Cowboys had several better players they could have added at running back, including Derrick Henry. 
Henry said the Cowboys had no interest in signing him this offseason. The Cowboys did have an interest in signing Elliott. However, Freeman's signing makes it unlikely the former Cowboys All-Pro will sign with Dallas for the upcoming season. The Cowboys would have been better off with Elliott than with Freeman. But how much would Elliott have cost the Cowboys? Last year, Elliott signed a one-year deal with the New England Patriots for a base salary of $3 million. He had a chance to earn another $3 million in incentives. Per Track, the Los Angeles Rams signed Freeman to a $1 million contract last season. One would assume Freeman isn't making much more than that this year. The Cowboys appear to be passing over Elliott for a worse running back this season. And the Cowboys' finances look better for it. C.D. Lamb and Cowboys reportedly not close on new contract. One of the biggest stories this offseason for the Dallas Cowboys has been C.D. Lamb's potential extension, or lack thereof. The Cowboys, who said that they were all in for 2024 have done little to support that notion as they haven't made a ton of splash signings in free agency and haven't handed out new deals to Dak Prescott or Lamb. The clock is ticking for the Cowboys to give Lamb a new deal as the Eagles inked wide receiver Devonta Smith to a three-year, $75 million extension, while Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, and T. Higgins are on the cusp of receiving huge paydays. On Monday, Michael Delkin of the Dallas Morning News reported that barring an extension that, when complete, is expected to make Lamb the highest-paid wide receiver in NFL history, he appears intent on not participating in a Cowboys practice or workout. If that news wasn't worrisome for Cowboys fans, the two sides are reportedly far apart in talks. ESPN's Adam Schefter said on Monday that the Cowboys might not see Lamb until he gets his contract extension. However, Schefter added it's something the team has been prepared for and knows they want to pay him, hat tip RJ Ochoa of blogging the boys. He also mentioned that the two sides right now are not close to getting a long-term deal done and while they're not CD Lamb will stay away. This latest news from the NFL Insider isn't surprising as it's almost standard protocol for players to hold out or skip voluntary workouts to get a deal done. Lamb is due to get paid after having an outstanding 2023 campaign for the Cowboys. Last season, the former first-round pick posted 135 receptions, 181 targets, for 1,749 yards and 12 touchdowns. Dallas cannot afford to let Lamb entertain the idea of free agency as he's one of the more dynamic wide receivers in the league and makes the Cowboys a contender in the NFC East. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of C.D. Lamb? Leave your opinion in the comments.